for a goddamn video. This is what you're diving for, homie, for, 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 for youth outreach. Uh, I was sitting on the porch. Uh, my license was suspended. I had warrants. Uh, but I was traveling around the country doing youth advocacy, uh, more on a national level. Uh, I think I had to fly to D.C. or somewhere, but I need I need to fly somewhere, and I, I, I had lost my ID. So I need to pay the warrant to go get my ID. So we were sitting out there on the porch. I drove off. He called me about 10 minutes later and said, shit, Kenfo, me and God told me to tell you, give you the money. And shit, that's where it all started. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's where it, that's where it, yeah, that's, that's where it all started. Uh, up until that point, uh, up until that point, it was just talking, you know, going out, motivating kids, uh, inspiring kids uh, through real life experiences, uh, you know, telling telling our testimony, uh, our life story. Uh, but, but here is where we was able to implement, as y'all can see, nigga, like a trade school. Uh, he, he he's an elected official, so. When he gave me that money, the nigga working on cars back here, a you know, retired military veteran uh, with an auto, auto body repair shop. Shit, uh, man, we went into politics from here. Uh, we, we went, we was on a private phone call with Barack Obama on his front porch. Uh, uh, our newly elected mayor stopped through here uh, before getting elected. Uh, and talk to the old nigga that y'all just got through talking to. I may a white woman showed up with no security, no nothing. Uh, we in the middle of the hood. Uh, so yeah, this is my cousin, man, you know, Mr. Jesse Taylor. Uh, he been, you know, he uh, he been with the executive side of uh, a hype, uh, you know, since, since we created it. Uh, every juvenile facility, yeah, we've we been there. Uh, I named Rain Big among the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. Uh, in, in, in the consistent uh, work that we did with kids. So, let me see, y'all can interview him and get the real. Kim Fellas, you want something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, shit, uh, nigga, fix transmissions in there. Yeah, that uh, one right there. I'm gonna go in here tonight and shit. Me and some kids gonna put me on. Transmission side here. So you're teaching them how to rebuild transmissions, yeah. trades, and yeah. just... Yeah, we teach them how to rebuild the transmission, to take it out, break it down, find out what's wrong with it, assess the problem, fix the problem, put it back together, put some money in their pocket. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. We just do this out the kind of heart, you know. Keep them boys out the street. <clears throat> yep, keep them out the street. A lot of them ain't got no guidance, you know that shit. A lot of them ain't got no guidance, so we just we just decided, look, we, we gotta give them, give them our talent. That's what we've been doing. Give them our talent, you know. So are you a mechanic by trade or? Man, I'm a certified mechanic, certified mechanic. Eight years in the military as a mechanic. Came home, went back to school as a mechanic. So a lot of the kids, that when we used to travel all over the state going to juvenile homes, I would always ask them little boys, you know, who, who interested in mechanic school? You, be, you would be amazed how many boys raised their hand. You know, because a lot of boys, they don't know how to change no oil. They don't know how to change no brakes. So man, we had kids over here that was eight, nine years old. And I know it's probably gonna be crazy, but them boys knew how to change brakes at eight, nine years old. Hmm. They boys knew, so now them same little boys Rebuilding transmission now. You know, at 16, 17 years old, they rebuilding transmission now. So shit, shit they ain't got to worry about no money. You know, no money. They gonna always had that. They gonna now. always, always had that. I don't care what happens in life, no matter which road they go down, they can always fall back on this. When times get hard, they can always fall back on this here, man. Really? So yeah. How long y'all been doing that? Man, we started this shit back in. 2000 and um, what 10 I want to say yeah it's about it's been about a 10 almost 11 year ride by now you know what I'm saying it was rough at first you know what I'm saying you know but hey she God made it way you know what I'm saying yeah so where do you where do you see it going where, where man you... I, I, I see this being a boys home 
that's what we that's that's that was the main mission. This right here is headquarters, pretty much. So basically, it's gonna be a, this is gonna be like a boys' home, you know. So when they get in trouble or whatever case may be, they come over here, they stay, stay out of trouble, learn a trade, you know, make sure they still get the education. There. But that's what we want to take this thing to, though, man. You know, they stay here, they work here, you know, put transmissions in here, put some money in their pocket here, take their asses to school, do what they gotta do, so they can be a productive citizen, man. Yeah, you know. So and everybody, you know. When you come to that transmission, you, you coming off some money when you do that transmission. Everybody know that. Ain't even no discussion in it. You know, you're coming off that money. So no. <laughs> it's like yeah. drug money. Yeah. That's why I tell them, I say, man, you buy a transmission. I say, y'all going out here and y'all buying a sack. You go out here and put that money in the transmission. You buy a core transmission, around about $75. You put another $200 into it. And you flip that whole transmission for about $1,000, $1,400. That's the same thing you're doing out here trying to buy, a, a, taking a penitentiary change, trying to buy sack of dope or some shit trying to slip it. You just you just change the game. You just flip you just change the product, you know what I'm saying? You flip these transmissions just like you do dope. That's what we do. You know? Yeah, man, uh, before, we, before we all go eat, y'all can really interview him when we go sit down and eat. Uh, okay. I just want to walk y'all through. Uh, okay. He had to, we, see, I'm just a nigga that can talk. I'm just a spokesman, all right? I don't know how to fix shit. I'm a nigga. I, yeah, I got to call that nigga to fix my flat one time, and the nigga brought me the equipment and got back in the car. They said, no, nah, nigga, you got to fix your own flat, nigga. Yeah, and the tire was big. I had to get up under there and try to lift that motherfucking tire up. Yeah, I was struggling with all kinds of shit. And, and, and it was a snowstorm. Yeah, and it was a snowstorm. So, yeah, uh, this, this was set up in a classroom, man, at, at one point in time. So, uh, you know, a small classroom had the TV monitor right there, man. Uh, the chair was set up right here. Uh, and this is where he was showing them the, the beginning stages of how to work. Uh, but we was doing this right before the coronavirus, before the pandemic. So the pandemic, uh, the pandemic shut everything down. So that's the TV screen that was over there. That's the monitor. Uh, I'm finna take y'all to the fish pond. Uh, we dug up a fish pond. And so the young niggas, before the coronavirus, uh, I didn't know he was on the run from the feds. Uh, and shout out to Little Stop 6 DJ. But man, every day he got up, man, uh, and he went fishing. And all the fish he caught, we would come over here put them in a tub, had an earth tank hooked up to it and everything because we dug our own creek to teach these young niggas how to fish. That's who teach me how to fish. You see, we got the fishing rods over there. He got to put my bait on the hook. I won't hook the worm. <laughs> yeah, 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 I won't hook so he got to hook the hook. Yeah. So it's old family property, homie. It's just old family land. Uh, and so we, uh, we, we took it and tried to make our own trade school. Uh, hyped about hype youth outreach, helping young people excel. Snowstorm came through. They had a major snowstorm, knocked out all the power. Uh, in Texas, one of the most historical snowstorms. Uh, so, you know, that come through and fuck everything up. Uh, had the chicken coop right here. Uh, uh, them motherfucking coyotes coming through, getting them goddamn chickens. Them cats getting them chickens. Uh, so, yeah, uh, but, you know, we had we were getting them eggs. Just the creek, just, but we had the, just the pond. Just the pond we dug up and had the fish in, man. We did the vegetation, homie. So we had greens, uh, jalapenos, uh, tomatoes, and, and and his dad his dad helped us with the seed part of this. Uh, had a cow, had two cows out here at one point of time, uh, and then these cars. You see, man, this is how the young niggas learn how to work on cars. Uh, most of the young niggas, if they got out the juvenile facility, uh, we take them shopping, uh, try to get them the type of shoes and clothes they want. Uh, where that boosts their self-esteem. And man, come out here, find you one of these cars you can learn to work on. Uh, put your little money into them and, and help get it ran. Uh, yeah, just trying to give what we didn't have, homie. Uh, some, well, we had some guidance, but we were misguided with the guidance they gave us. Uh, we listened to the older niggas. Uh, we wanted to them, but they fed us bullshit. We got tricked with the street bullshit. Uh, these kids today, they don't want to hear from us. Uh, they want us to show them uh, how to beat their circumstances. They want us to show them a way out or not tell them. Uh, my nigga Sane always tell me, man, I can't hear nothing I can't see. We talking, but we ain't showing them nothing. They can't see it. So uh, that's why they listen to other young people. So it's this since, since 1980, it's been boys following boys from listening to their mothers. Uh, and we ain't had no guidance of no man, uh, let alone no positive male influences and role models. So 40 years later, 
Uh, we ask them, where are all the positive men at? Uh, we abandon them. Yeah, and, and, and the gangsters and the pimps, uh, the street niggas, the killers, uh, the, 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 the womanizers, uh, the, 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 the high-priced thieves, uh, the scammers, uh, they became our heroes and, and, and our characters and, and our images uh, for our children to try to mimic and portray. And so it, it never leaves my mind that children mimic what they see and they repeat what they hear. Uh, so we've got to keep that in mind.